Today, you're going to learn how to create slideshows in Vue.js. Oh, and hey, I'd like to point out this video's awesome sponsor, Skillshare.com, which offers thousands of classes in design, coding, business, and more. For instance, you're about to watch my Vue slideshow tutorial, but you could take this full Vue.js 2 course at Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is just 10 bucks a month, but if you're the first 200 students to use my very exclusive link below in the description here in YouTube, then you get the first two months free. All right, so let's get started. Hey everyone, Gary Simon of course Zetro. So today we're gonna hop into the world of Vue and look at what it takes to create slideshows. All right, so we're not gonna do this from scratch. We're gonna be using something called Eagle JS. And at Eagle JS, uh, you can create these slideshows with a ton of different options and it uses animate.css um, for the animation. So here's one such example that's on their site that you can use. So I'm just using my uh, the scroll wheel here to get through these. And as you can see, it's very smooth. Um, you can also check out other examples at their site, which is um, if you just go to Google and type in um, Eagle JS. Also, I'm going to link it in the description to YouTube. You can get here. And so they have recipes, theme slideshows, and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to show you exactly how to integrate it. And we're going to start up a brand new view project and how to work with it, etc. So for today's question, what do you use these days? View? React or Angular? Now, I've asked this question several months ago, I believe. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if the landscape has changed at all. I'll let you know what I think in the first pinned comments. Make sure you subscribe and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we'll do is use the Vue CLI uh, to go ahead and install a new Vue project. So, Vue create, I'll just call this slides. And uh, it's going to prompt us here. We're going to manually select the features. You can just use your keyboard arrows. Um, we're going to use a CSS preprocessor, get rid of the linner, um, SAS, yes, and then in package JSON. And no, we don't want to save this for future projects. All right, so now that that is done, let's see the into slides. Now, instead of running npm run serve as it suggests, we need to install a few different things. But first, let's look at the um, documentation for Eagle JS. So if we scroll down here, you'll see that. Um, we simply need to add yarn add eagle js or you can use npm for the node package manager um, for us we're going to use yarn but if we want to use some of the example code which i'm going to paste in with there's a few other things that we need to include um, first and foremost if you want to have animations between your slides instead of them just going from one to the next then you'll need to add in animate.css and that's another package um, and because we're going to use some of the example coding from their demo page and they use pug we also have to install uh, a couple packages to enable pug which is formerly jade which is just a different right way to write html um, so what we can do is in once you're inside the directory we'll use yarn we're gonna use uh, let's see here add eagle js we're gonna add animate css and then the next two are completely optional if you don't want to use pug to write your html pug and pug plane loader all right so um, as those are installing I'll just come over here and real quickly um, you can see their demo page and it gives you four different slide examples um, there's recipes here there's introducing uh, Eagle JS um, this is real cool the slim the theme slideshows um, and then your first slideshow all right so um, we're gonna use <clears throat> one of these or maybe a couple uh, just to ex uh, show you how to get it integrated and you know just so you can get familiar with the approach here um, so let's see if this is done yet yes it is all right so now we can run um, code period to open up uh, visual studio code which is what I'm using for my code editor and then also npm run serve so we should uh, this will open up a dev server on localhost 8080 once it's ready and control click and there we go control shift i there should be no issues uh, for the console okay so um the first thing we need to do to in order to get it integrated yeah we we used yarn to include these things but we haven't actually integrated into our view project so to do that we're going to come down and right here these four lines we're going to copy and then we're going to open up the code editor and we're going to go to source main and simply paste them right there all right so i uh, next what we want to do is we'll go to our app view 
we don't we're not going to use the hello world here component so we can get rid of components right here and we'll just empty this out entirely all right so now I uh, this is just a matter this is where you can start using and writing so um, you know your, your stuff specific to your uh, slideshow um, so here there's a lot of different information we're not going to go over all of it instead I'm just going to um, head on over to that github the example repo which is based on this page right here and all the examples so if we go to source and we go to slideshows we have these four different slideshows as mentioned right here and we'll just do um, the first slideshow right here all right so as you can see in the template we have lang equals pug right there thus the need to add in that dependency for yarn um, what I'll do is just copy uh, this template portion right here <clears throat> and we will go back and paste it right here all right so regularly this could just be straight up normal HTML it's not a big deal um, this is uh, Jade aka pug stuff right here now you can see the most important part that's relevant is the slide right here this dictates uh, and, and allows you to, to create the different slides as you can see it looks dead on easy but we're not done yet we have to focus on this script section as well and you can see um, down here the first thing we're doing is importing Eagle we're not going to use this right here because they're they set theirs up a little bit more in a complex manner so um, if you want everything confined just to this comp particular component what we'll have to do is import slideshow from eagle.js and then we use it as a mix-in so a mix-ins property goes here and we put in slideshow just like that all right um, so if we save this right now we go back and uh, we can't see anything and that's because there's an issue with our CSS so let's go back uh, to this demo real quick all right actually we'll copy the whole thing here from style to end style and Let's just go ahead and save that. There we go. So now we could uh, use the mouse scroll wheel um, to go through these. All right. So uh, obviously it was dead simple. Looks pretty ugly here because I don't think we quite have all the CSS that they were using. But as you can see, it works quite fine. So um, coming up here, as you can see, they have some just some basic examples like slide. Okay. So the second slide here's our first the second slide we have the option um, we have the parameters of enter bounce in right and then leave fade out all right uh, and then next the third slide will fade in so if you pay attention when we first refresh nothing's going to happen because they haven't applied any type of animations which are de delivered via animate.css so of course when we refresh nothing's happening we go to the next slide it's going to bounce in from the right and then if we go out this is going to fade out and the next one will fade in just like that very very simple uh, so there's a lot more you can do with this though obviously so um, if we go back to slideshows uh, first slideshow we have uh, let's see here introducing Eagle I think we could tr potentially try this one out Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay away from that one. Let's try the theme slideshow. This one's quite cool in how they have it set up. So let's just copy everything between the template tags right here. And they definitely this is more of a robust example. Dang it, can't go down. There we go. All right, so right here we're gonna copy that and we'll go back. So let's paste that in. And this isn't going to work because there's a few things um, that we're going to need to change. Um, we also right here they have an infos object that we need to put into the script section. So we're coming down here, right there, and then also all the um, they have a lot of SAS right here. So let's copy all this, and then we're going to have to remove a bunch of things before we can get this to work. But the end result is cool. They are referencing. Um, 
within their SAS here a bunch of images that we simply don't have so the, the app will break. So every time there's a JPEG or a PNG, um, there's an import from an assets uh, monokai folder that we don't have, so we're gonna remove that. Uh, we got this, we got this, and of course, if we forgot something, um, it will definitely not let us proceed anyways. Is there a PNG file in here? Yes, a background PNG file. All right, so now if we save this with any luck, it will work. There we go. So now we can also click this. Wait, click was working before. Oh, well, it's not right now. Uh, it could also be seen, make sure blah, blah, blah. But as you can see, you can do a lot. So as you can see, there was a kind of a delayed uh, nested sort of slide that they have going here. And you can see all the HTML that is associated with this. Now, the way that was supposed to look, by the way, it was supposed to look a lot better than that. Um, if I go back here, let's see here. Yeah, if we go back here, the way that page was supposed to look was like this. So these are the images that we got rid of. But as you can see, it would simply matter if you want to really create one of these full page slide type of things, you just replace the, uh, the CSS with that. Um, so coming up here, again, you can go ahead and at your own leisure kind of figure out how all this works, but it's very simple. You simply use a slide and you can append classes to these. These are CSS classes in the form of pug, um, and then reference those classes in that way. That's how you actually style each of the individual slides themselves by referencing the class that you attach to the slide. Um, and then let me find one of the, uh, all right, another one right here. So say for example, you have a slide, um, but inside of the slide, uh, either through click or through you know scrolling down, you want um, multiple things to come in in that slide before transitioning to the next one. And also, uh, obviously, you can go back to the a GitHub page and it will provide you with all the information that you need um, and all the available options right here that you can start to use to create your very own slides. All right. All right. So hopefully you learned something and you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you subscribe, of course, and answer today's question, which is what are you using these days? Vue, React, or Angular? All right. I'll see you guys later.